Well, it's getting late on a Saturday evening, and I've been working for the past couple of days on these, this next batch of Haiti Repro Fab Five figures. This squad's going to be a custom color rush Pittsburgh Steelers outfit with a, a yellow jersey rather than a black jersey. And uh, all I've got to show for it so far is that I've uh, finished the base plates and the shoes. And that's actually quite a bit of work. You know, you're talking three coats of Viper Green paint on the base plates and some very fiddly uh, detailing and touch-up where the feet meet the base plate. So we'll just look at a few of these. We'll start with, the, you know, I've got three different colors of shoes here, black, yellow, and white. We live in an age now where uh, the uniformity itself extends to the jersey and the pants, um, shoes, elbow pads, um, uh, wristbands and gloves and that sort of those sort of accessories are, are very personalized even the face masks among different players um, you know these are not perfect I will say that these are my best feet yet as far as the uh, cleanliness between the the foot and the base plate and uh, it's the whole idea, as long as your latest efforts are better than your previous efforts, then that's progress. Like I said, they're not perfect, and I see a spot right there that could use a little more green paint, but sure as the world, if I take the toothpick to that, try to get some green paint in there, it's going to get on the foot. And so we begin the war between the white paint and the green paint. It's a battle I've had many times with these figures. It's just part of it. Pretty satisfied with that if I'm perfectly honest and I'm not saying that just because I'm tired now I did find some flash on a couple of the heels you can see it there on the left foot there that's got to come off I'm, and fortunately this is a, a white shoe so trimming that's not gonna make a, a huge impact on the aesthetics of the figure the real big issue with these fab five figures and I'll show you with a yellow base I think is that, you know, these are based off of a 50-year-old design, more than 50 years, and which uh, high detail was not the point, but rather mass production. And uh, the feet are not hyper-realistic. They're attached to mm, these little platforms that attach to the base plate. And uh, you just sort of have to open your mind when uh, painting shoes and, and not stressing over the fact that that doesn't look incredibly realistic. Um, uh, some coaches actually paint those platforms green to match the base plate. I understand that. I've done that myself in the past. This time I thought I'd just make it all uniform, one color. And uh, painting with the golden yellow acrylic paint it's kind of tricky. Um, it's a very viscous, thick paint, and you can water it down. However, um, in any instance where I got some green paint on the toes or on the heels, you know, when painting the base plate, it took several coats of the yellow to cover that up. Uh, the same is true against the black pants. I don't, you know, I'm going to have to draw very, very thick stripes on the pants with the yellow paint to make that work and pop out correctly. Um, so, uh, the black paint, meanwhile, goes on very smoothly and very evenly, but it's hard to see the lines between the black and the green, and I'll show you in just a moment what I'm talking about. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with these. Uh, now, don't pay attention to the top of the shoes. I mean, that's that's work in progress. Uh, in fact, I'll be, you know, these shoes won't go up that high. The days of high tops are long gone in pro football. Um, the pants are going to be solid black with a yellow stripe, just like the Color Rush uniforms. So, I'm going to try to shape the top of the shoe the way it should be. You know, higher at the front where the tongue of the shoe is than the heel. With a, a nice little... Uh, dip between those two areas. That's what I'm going to try for. Uh, may not always achieve that. 
but I'm pretty pleased with the lines. And I'm going to tell you right now what's really aided me in this painting project so far. And that's this thing right here. Very, very bright light. And that was halogen, so it doesn't give off any heat, thank God, or I wouldn't be able to, to sit here and do this. Um, I don't know what the wattage is. Um, but these new halogen lights are are really helpful. And you can really see what you're doing. Let's look at a couple of the black shoes. These will blend in with the sun. I mean, this will just look like... This is going to go all the way up to the, the, the top of the pants, the black color. That's what I like about the color rush uniform. I think it looks really sharp. But they're not all wearing black shoes out there. Some of them are wearing yellow shoes. Now, some of them are wearing black shoes with yellow soles. And some of them are wearing white shoes with black soles. There are a lot of coaches out there that like to, maybe not with these figures, but they do like to uh, paint the soles black or a different color than the shoe itself. And, you know, I dig that, but uh, on these Fab Fives, that's a daunting challenge because of that platform back there. That sort of takes up a lot of real estate where the heel is actually located. You can do it if, if that floats your boat. It would look nice. It's just, um, you know, for this project, um, that's more detail than I'm willing to put in. All the detail I'm worried about is going to be on the arms where, uh, you know, with the wristbands and the uh, armbands and the elbow pads and the gloves, that sort of thing. I will try to make two different, uh, some of the gloves two different colors on the front and back, on the palm and on the top. Um, like, you know, on figures like this, that's going to be a pretty easy task. Of course, it's going to be impossible on figures like the linemen, which they have closed fists. But, uh, not much more to say about shoes. Um, if you're painting a team with socks, you need to take that in consideration before you get to the tights. The tights being the area in pro football that's between the socks and the pants proper. Um, I don't have a, a Steelers figure out there to show you exactly what I'm talking about, but on a normal Steelers uniform, it's it's the shoes, then the socks, and then those black tights that go up to the knees, and then the uh, football pants, which is you know, normally yellow on Pittsburgh Steelers, they'll be black on this set. Um, now, in collegiate football, most teams don't have those tights. It's you know you're just going to use flesh tones between the socks and the knees of the uniform. But um, listen, once you get the, the cleanliness between the shoes and the base plate sorted, you're, you're ready to start, it's, you know, you're ready to start moving up the figure. Um, let me show you something else. And I think it would be easiest to show you on one of these figures with a yellow. Maybe one we haven't looked at yet. If I, we've already looked at this one, I apologize. Yeah. I mean, you can see on this one that it's not completely perfect. There's, you know, a lot of the yellow is actually on the base plate. Uh, and I could take a toothpick and clean that up, but invariably I would get a little green on the shoe. So, as long as it's clean. Um, you're in business. And frankly, I feel like I've done a better job on this base plate where it meets the shoes than a lot of people who are selling figures for upwards to $250 on eBay do on their shoes. Even though their shoes are, you know, they're, they're selling more expensive figures with uh, better detailed shoes. Uh, I feel like this step right here gets neglected on a lot of figures. Um, look at another figure with white shoes, which you can't even tell that this was painted white. It's the same color as the primer, but I mean, you can tell by the cleanliness between the base plate and the shoe itself that 
these have been cleaned up considerably. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to doing the next step because it's just going to be so easy. At this point, I'm going to get out a new brush, a bigger brush than normal, and just go up the leg with black paint. And, uh, you know, try to get the shape I want down there at the feet where the, the shoe meets the uh, socks. And then we'll begin to, to start feeling like we actually have a football figurine. Because these look so bare, even though the shoes have been painted. I mean, you can't really tell. But, you know, I'll probably take tomorrow off from painting and do something else. I'll work on some of my paper figures, the Chicago Bears. That's colored pencils. That's far less materials required than what we're looking up here. But there you go, guys. Shoes. Uh, not a whole lot to say about the shoes on Haiti Repro figures. Um, you could... Uh, on certain figures, paint the sole as far down as you can with a different color. That would look good. You could take a Sharpie marker and draw the Nike symbol there on the sides. That would look good. If you have access to some shoe decals, which are out there, they, but you know they're going to cost more than traditional decal. Um, those would look good on the tops of these. Um, I just feel like at such a small scale, if you start doing too much, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be, start be, to begin to look really cluttered. And I may run into that on the arms when I start trying my experiments with different, uh, accessories on each figure's arm. Um, I may decide that, you know, this isn't working out and may just paint them the normal flesh tone. We'll just have to see. That's, a uh, Probably a couple weeks off getting to that stage, depending on how long it takes to do the legs and the jerseys. Might go ahead and do the pant stripes before I get started on the arms. Then again, maybe I won't in case I accidentally get some paint on the legs or the jersey. Again, I have a plan, but the plan is flexible, depending upon the needs of the moment. Well, I hope this was in some way instructive to viewers. Um, you know, this project is underway in earnest. Uh, I don't expect to be finished with it anytime soon. Uh, the Chicago Bear, the last team I did, took three and a half months. But we've got a good jump on things this weekend. And hopefully by the end of next weekend we'll have pants and jerseys complete. But we'll just have to see. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Take care.